Hello, I'm just doing a quick little update here. Last year I had made a video about modifying your key mapping so you could use your scroll lock key to turn your LED backlighting on and off on your keyboard. Since that time I have upgraded my system from my Linux system from Steam OS to I keep saying upgrade. I switched distributions from Steam OS to Debian Jesse to be more accurate. And from Debian Jesse, I then upgraded to, to Debian Stretch. In both cases of the, the non Steam OS versions of Debian, I had lost my uh, keyboard setting, even though my X Session RC still had the keyboard mapping line in in it. Okay, so clearly GNOME 3 and the uh, Debian Jesse and Debian Stretch were doing something different to get their uh, keyboard mappings and we're ignoring that mod line I added. Um, so I had to do some searching and I did a little bit of research on the Google and the Google led me to Unix Stack Exchange where someone had a similar issue not being able to activate their scroll lock key in modern versions of of um, of Linux running I believe these are versions of GNOME 3, Cinnamon, Linux or I guess probably not. I don't use them so clearly they are different versions than uh, what SteamOS was either newer versions of GNOME 3 or just totally different desktops altogether and he could not get his key um, he could not modify his uh, keyboard settings permanently between logins either so what Eve hit upon was this solution here and it seems to work for me as well and I just wanted to share that with people who might be looking um, first of all he recommends backing up your your language settings for your keyboard, which is a which is always good advice, and I did do that. I only have the U.S. settings for my keyboard. Um, many places have multiple language settings for their keyboard. Like here in Canada, you can often get keyboards that are both English and French. And yeah, and if you want to change the mod, if you want to modify the keyboard settings, you have to back up both because you will be changing the settings in both. Assuming, of course, you use the, the other language. If you don't, if you use primarily English and never use French, you may not have to worry about it, or vice versa, or whatever your language, uh, multiple language settings are for your keyboard. If you're using any of those languages, make sure you back the, those particular languages up, and it might be a good idea to back them all up. Anyhow, uh, all the languages that you use are, are available for your keyboard. I'm rambling. Let's get on with it. <laughs> okay. Uh, once you back up your particular um, settings file, then you open it up in a text editor of your choice, and you look for this section here, xkb underscore symbols, basic and colon, um, colons, basic and quotations, and with a curly brace. And you add this line here, modifier underscore map, mod 3, scroll lock, and you save it in all the layouts you're using, of course. Uh, once again, for me, that's just the US layout. And then he recommends clearing out your cache. And I went and looked in my cache, and I only have a readme file, so it wasn't really something I felt I needed to do, even though I looked at it as um, under to do ls dash al it should have shown any hidden files but nothing was there and then once you do that if you have to then you just restart your x server or you reboot your computer and you have to restart your x server or reboot your computer for the setting to take place because you are making a uh, basically a worldwide change here on your system okay now just uh, open up my oop, oh, this one here <laughs> Uh, let's see now. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have the entry right there. So I'm just going to catonicate it, and I'll show you the entry I made with my text editor. As you can see, 
xkb underscore symbols basic is right at the top of my file. It may not be at the top of yours. It may, may well, it may be at the top of all of them. I'm not sure. But I found my entry, or rather my section here. I need to find, and I. I went to space down and I entered my modifier line. So I just spaced over until it's lined up with the other entries, so it looks nice. And I uh, typed in modifier underscore map, spaced over, typed in mod 3. Actually, I do believe I tabbed over. Tabbed over, mod 3. So I entered that in, mod 3. Then I tabbed over, entered the opening curly brace tabbed over, entered in scroll underscore lock, tabbed over from there and the closing curly brace, and then at the end I added the semicolon. Very important you add that semicolon because it uses the, of course, the C style in syntax for the, uh, the um, configuration file, and if the uh, modifier program does not see that semicolon there, you're going to get errors. You may not be able to get back into your desktop until you either restore the backup you made, or you open up a text editor in a virtual term and add that semicolon. And then of course you save it, and then you restart. And it worked for me. I have to admit, it uh, hit my scroll lock key and my backlighting comes off and on nicely. Now let me know if you want in the comments below if that work, if the solution works for you, or if you have some other solution that works for you, again, this seems to work for uh, Debian Stretch, and and I assume for Debian Jesse, uh, using the GNOME 3 environment. I don't know if it'll work under environments that aren't GNOME 3, but yeah, hey, if you if you have any uh, idea about that, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to hear it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.